Hello, welcome to my completely unprofessional video review of the uh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Extended Slide Pad. Before I start talking about it, I'm going to apologize in advance for all of the scratching and crap coming through the microphone. I'm doing this on my iPhone because I am unprofessional. Um, <clears throat> first off, it is powered by a single AAA battery that goes under this small flap here. It has an extremely long battery life, apparently. Um, like, somewhere around 300 hours. Um, it's made out of a very, very, very light, uh, plastic. But it is extremely big. It's made for big hands. Um, it has really nice, rounded, uh, controller-like grips. It feels like you're holding a controller, not the, not the square DS, which can become uncomfortable. Which means that, instead of holding your DS or DSXL like you normally would and all your all that weight of the system is resting on the side of your middle finger or something along those lines which can get uncomfortable if you play Monster Hunter like I do about four or five hours at a time but this makes it extremely comfortable to play for extended periods of time um, the first difference that you notice between this and the regular Circle Pad Pro is where exactly is the circle? Well, it is right over here. Here is your secondary circle. Um, which and uh, another thing you might notice is that over here where the circle is, there is no little L button. Where's the L button? The L button is back here. So while you're holding it like this, here's your regular circle right here. You'd be able to move your move your character and the uh, camera at the same time without having to take your fingers off of the A, A, X, B keys over here like you would with the Circle Pad Pro. With Circle Pad, you'd have to have your little circle up here and then you'd take your fingers off of the buttons to move your camera around. You don't have to do that with this one. You can just do it all at the same time. Um, and it, 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 it does take a little bit to realize that this button is actually back here. It's kind of in an awkward place. Uh, you, you would press it with your, uh, your left middle finger as you're doing things with your thumb and index finger um, with the circles. Um, let me see. Another thing is... There, let me better show this. I can stick my DS for a moment. As it is on, you actually have access to your gamepad, your, your, your game cartridge, um, which is a nice difference between this and the regular circle pad, since with the old circle pad pro, you would have to completely remove the circle pad, take the game out, and then put the circle pad back on if you were to switch games that would use the circle pad, um, which is nice. Um, Something that's the same is you can't, you can still not get to your stylus with it on. Um, normal styluses would have them up here. Um, you can't get to that because this blocks it. Um, my stylus is on this side, and of course, this grip blocks it. Um, all in all, though, this is a, an extremely good buy. If any, if any of you play Monster Hunter a lot. It's definitely easy on the hands, uh, I mean, specifically made for the game. It just, it, make, it makes gameplay a lot more interesting because you're able to do more things that you weren't able to do without this specific circle pad. Um, it, it just might take a little bit of practice. Another thing I'd like to mention is that... Um, side-to-side -side view camera is extremely easy because all you have to do is just go like that but if you were to move the camera up and down that would require you to move your finger like this something something like that um, which probably isn't really all that important in Monster Hunter 4 considering that they took underwater battles out uh, so that may or may not matter too much. I mean, unless you play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on the 3DS with this pad, then that 
might be a little bit of an issue between this and the regular circle pad. Otherwise, it's I'm looking forward to playing with it a lot. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I needed to talk about, so I will maybe see you later.